Good afternoon. Today I'll be demonstrating how to take an OpenSCAD, an existing OpenSCAD drawing, and easily bring it into uh, FreeCAD. Um, so this is going to be using the Open the OpenSCAD program, and I'm going to be loading a file that I've art that I created recently. Um, and this is this is a uh, drawing of an abacus. Oh yeah, let me just use this. Okay, and you can see it's got uh, some features. So, if you were to export this as an STL in OpenSCAD, first you'd have to render it. And the rendering time is enough that it interrupts your workflow. It can be several minutes long, five to 10 minutes in, in this case. Um, and then when the render was finished and I export the S STL, I'll show you what it looked like. So we're going to do open a recent model, and it's this one here. So you can see that loaded, and it's missing a number of the features. It's mi mi missing the text, and it's missing the array of, of, of rings, and it's actually too tall as well. So because of that, um, instead of trying to figure out what I did wrong, I can see right away one thing, these faces are in the wrong direction. So it wants to, it wants all those faces and thing, you know, to be yellow. That and that's when you'll be able to do a a correct uh, export. So I'm going to copy all this code, and we're going to go over to FreeCAD, and FreeCAD FreeCAD has a workbench called the OpenSCAD workbench, and what the OpenSCAD workbench is, it allows us to add OpenSCAD elements to a FreeCAD drawing, and I want to delete the cube there, and I'm just going to paste in my code from my SCAD drawing and you can see it's pasted in all code and it spends some time processing not very long at all um, not nearly as long as the um, render process in in OpenSCAD so when the processing is done you'll have a um, you know what's a lot like a step file uh, so it's not actual uh, ob not actual FreeCAD objects. Uh, oops, I think I have to actually click Add. Sorry about that. But they're, they're they are objects that are manip directly manipulable. Manipulable. Okay, so I paused the recording and came back, and this is what you get when it um, comes in, and it only, you know, was a a minute or two, not even. So let's um, let's rotate that and center it. So that's the. That's the model I end up with. So it goes from from this model in FreeCAD or Open OpenSCAD to this model in FreeCAD. So now to create an STL from this, um, well, first let me show you that. So, like for example, if I go into this group, I'll turn off the group and turn on one uh, one of the rings. You know, this is individually manipulatable, so I can, you know, I can move that one ring. Or any of those rings, if I wanted to. Um, so you could you could use the programmatic feature of OpenSCAD, for example, to create these rings and to add text like this in OpenSCAD, which is easy, but it's difficult in FreeCAD. And I don't even know that you can add text like this with the with the shape string. At least I've I've had trouble. I I have I have done it, um, but it's not it just doesn't always work for me. So at this point, you want to you, you need to select each of the um, each of the pieces. So that union, I'm going to do a shift select on the group. Oops, control select. So group and union. And that's the whole object. And we're gonna and then we would do file export, and we'd export this and we'd select STL. And you can see you can see right in um, FreeCAD it just exports in so many more formats than than OpenSCAD. So at this point, you would you you know you would type the file name here, and you have to make sure you end it with the STL extension. Uh, apparently, I've read that if you don't, it won't export as an STL. So the resulting STL, which I've already done, it's a very short amount of time to do, is uh, I'm going to do load a recent model, and it, that's this one right here. And you'll see right away that it does the whole model, and it does a nice job too. You see, you get all the all the rings, all the detail on the on the molding, and for some reason, 
it does it at the right height where the open scad just doesn't honor that height for some reason. Um, so there it is, and that's a fully, you know, a, that's a printable file, although I wouldn't recommend printing this because it'd be uh, a huge print and take a long time. So I think that's it. I think that's how how you can easily take you know a fairly complex drawing and bring it f easily from um, OpenSCAD over to FreeCAD. And thank you. If you like this, make sure you click on like. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe.